Hey, happy Friday, everyone. We're actually filming this on Thursday, but you're going to see it on Friday. We are in a venue that you have not seen before. We are actually standing in the location of our seminars that are going to take place in the next few weeks. So we're going to give you a tour of that here in a little while after we get done with it, kind of, and we've got a big announcement at the end too, so uh, stay tuned. But I want to, what I want to do on the meat uh, and potatoes of this video is I want to talk a little bit about a question I get asked a lot. Um, in fact, Vicki and I and Dad all get asked this question quite a bit is, I'm brand new at this, what do I need? You know, what do I need to start? What kind of stuff do I need? So what I'm going to do is something that Dad did way back on our original videos, way, way back, is basically show you everything that you're going to need in order to produce a, a sign. Well, pretty much everything that I can think of that you're going to need to produce a sign. So um, since Vic's got the camera set and you can see both sides of the benches, I'm gonna, just going to start from your right and my left. We've got a bare board here. This is just a piece of that cedar fencing. Now, I didn't sand this off. You would, for me, you can either scallop it. What I would do to prepare this board, first thing I would do is sand it off, and I've talked about that quite a bit. So go back and watch some other videos on, on uh, this cedar fencing. But basically, I would smooth it off with my sander to the point where then it will take a layout and I can carve a sign with it. So you take a bare board, you're going to need some kind of a straight edge, a yardstick of some kind, pencil obviously, a square so that you know where you're going to draw your lines and get them uh, balanced and square on the board. So you're going to need one of these adjustable squares. Now, again guys, this is just what I do. This is what I recommend. You might have a lot of other different ways to do it that works better for you, but this is the way I do it. I need some silicone spray for my router base to make sure that it sm slides nice and smooth. Um, this is what we're going to spray into, into our carving, whether we're carving outset letters or inset letters. So that's the, the primer that I use. You can also use the Marsh ink, which again, you can see on a, on a lot of my different videos. Now we get into kind of the, the layout part of it. The layout part of it, we have layout letters here. One inch, inch and a half, and two inch. Those are how I lay my signs out almost exclusively. Different fonts, different styles, but I, um, and different sizes, but I just brought an ABC just so you could kind of see the difference between the three sizes that I use on a board this size. Put those in front so we can get a better the, the kind of in front of the routers on the base there? The layout letters? Yeah. Sure. No, side by side. <coughs> oh, Unless excuse you... me. Let's put them in the right order. There you go. Like that? Okay. So these are the layout letters. So I would take my letters. After my draw lines are drawn on the board, I take my letters, I put it on the board, I spray it with my primer or ink, whatever you're going to use. Then it's uh, then what I would do is take my stiff bristle brush, which I don't have it in front of me. Fortunately, my wife is right on the spot. I would take my stiff bristle brush, brush off the excess, and then I would take a sanding block and I would sand off. I'm making her get up and down. This doesn't have sandpaper on it, but it would. I would take a sanding block. We just roll, guys. You know the way we are. We just take a sanding block and we sand off the excess and then brush off. Uh, stuff so it doesn't stick to the base and then um, I draw the lines top and bottom again you guys can see that on a lot of the other videos when I'm actually carving uh, and now for the router bits so we use these router bits pretty much exclusively this is our 60 degree V groove which is a three fluted uh, so everything solid carbide three fluted at a 60 degree angle and this is what I use for my inset letters. This is the 90 degree. Well, it will jump over to the profile bit. This is what I would use to make outset letters. And I should have brought a finished sign with me, but I didn't. So I apologize, guys. But many of you know already. But you can go back and watch any of the videos about outset letters. So I do my profiling with the profile bit around the outside of the letters. Then when I do my background, I use a 90 degree V groove bit, and that's the part that does the cloud, the black cloud around my letters. So the, and this is obviously a 
uh, 45 degree chamfer bit with a bearing on it for doing either scalloping or doing the bevel on the edge. It works for both. That's a, pretty much the only edging bit I use primarily. Um, and so then we've got our layout done. We put our board on here um, and start routing. And that's what, uh, those are the bits I use for that. And once it's done, I take the same spray and I spray all of the carving with the primer again. When it dries, then I use my belt sander. This has actually got a, a 40 degree belt or 40 grit belt on it. So I use a 40 grit and then an 80 after that. I don't have my other little armadillo sander with me. Huh? Didn't show you the router. Oh, I didn't even show the router. I'm rambling. So this is the router that we use mostly. Um, and I've got two different sizes. This is the small one I use for the detail that's got our custom router base plate on it. This is the heavier one, the 618. This is the 611. This is the 618. Got my chamfer bit in there. And uh, that's the one I use for, for the background and cleanup. And I use this one for the profile bit and the, the inset letters. Um, again, that's our, our customized router base. Okay. And you can see where it's modified in Look the back here. side. All I see is the top of your head. Oh, I'm looking down, sorry. Okay. Keep me in line there. Man. I'm trying. All right. So, and this, and I use these, but many of you probably don't need them, but they're just little magnifiers that I use on a regular basis. So, um, Vic's over there keeping track of our time. Um, and these are little vacuum that, uh, you know, that you can use to either suck the sawdust off, but I use it as a blower. And I think I answered that. A couple of times recently people ask about that um, and then um, the drill I didn't even talk about the drill I always drill my boards my signs top and bottom um, signs this size 12 inch centers so uh, six inches from each end and I drill them top and bottom with this uh, little uh, drill bit and then I give away um, screw eyes and uh, s-hooks with each sign that I break. got him <laughs> he was bugging me. He was flying around and bugging me. <laughs> Surprised my wife on that one. Oh she didn't gosh. see that coming. But you guys probably didn't see that coming either. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah. I'll clean my hands before I touch my wife. Anyway, so here's the screw eyes. I give away four screw eyes and two S-hooks with every side. She's cracking up right now. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't have a fly swatter. Anyway, oh he won't bug me no more. So that's, that's uh, I think I've covered, gosh, I think this is the Krylon that I use. And I know you got, and I, um, I had this fail on me once on the sign that we did, but I'm, I'm done. I'm still experimenting with it. But actually the only time I've ever had it fail is on that piece of walnut that was on our sign. And so, uh, I'm still not, I'm still kind of figuring this stuff out, but I've got boards that have been sitting out now for, gosh, must have been a month, and they look fantastic. So um, anyway, I, I still like this Krylon, uh, you know, with reservations right now. I'm still testing it. But uh, I also use a Minwax Helmsman Spar Urethane too, as most of you know. So anyway, I hope that kind of, for you brand new people, and that's, this was, I, I'm hoping this is not too mundane for you guys that watch all the time. Um, but this was geared really around the new people because I get this question and we've got so many new people coming in and, and coming on and I get this question a lot. So this is basically the tools that you need. Um, uh, you know, a little vacuum here. So that's why I say, you know, you don't, and you don't necessarily have to buy these things brand new. You can go to a pawn shop and find most of this stuff for half price or less until you figure out that this is really something that you want to go with and then you know then go buy new tools don't necessarily go out and spend a bunch of money the router bits um, these things I think if you're going to spend money on something don't skimp on the router bits because if you're not using router bits that work well for you 
you're not going to have good results. So I'm not saying buy my router bits, but find router bits that work good for you. And if you, you have router bits that don't work good for you, don't give up on sign making. Find router bits that will work for you. I'm not, again, I'm not saying buy mine, but th those are the ones that I use. So anyway, that's enough of that. Okay, so let's, um, I think what we'll do is we're going to uh, shut the camera off and reposition and give you kind of a tour of what uh, you guys that are coming to the seminars can expect. And those of you that, that aren't, uh, for future use, we may be in this same venue. I don't know if we do more seminars next year. At least you'll get kind of a look. And then we've got a special announcement coming up you guys are really going to like. So we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So here is, um, gives you an idea of what our venue is, looks like for the seminar for you guys that are coming. We've got four benches set up. That bench that I was at earlier under the window, that's where dad and I will be pretty much posted um, for, for talking and, and showing stuff. And then these other three benches will be where you guys are doing your work, carving your signs and sanding. We've got sanders and, and routers and pretty much everything that you're going to need uh, to carve a sign um, are set up at each of these benches. There's so, an idea. <laughs> I'm running into rocks. Kind of give you an idea. That stuff behind there won't be there, but we've got work to do on that. So there's one of your benches. Now... You're going to have everything that you need to make a sign. Ready really for our announcement? Closer. Ready? Ready? Drum okay, roll. so here's Drum our roll. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Oh. Oh. Those wheels are catching. Yeah. So All right. we have, look what we've got. We've got new shirts. We've got hats. We've got cups. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's see if I Our can. Our buddy from uh, Georgia, Steve McCullough, made us uh, a bunch of stuff. So we now have these. Uh, we get this question a lot. I mean, a lot lately. So we have uh, cups. We have hats, and this is a Auto Flex, which is really a great hat, a very, very, very good hat. Um, really quality shirts. Hanes. This is what, yeah, Hanes shirts. This is what they say. You know, my mom term, sauce makes me happy. So uh, this stuff is all available now, guys. We've got a very small stock, but we're gonna be getting more. So if you guys are interested, uh, the shirts, $15.99 on the shirts. The hats, $16.99, and it's one size fits all with that, that flex fit or that auto flex, excuse me. Um, and then the mugs are $12.99. So, pretty cool. Plus shipping. You've got yeah, shipping. and then uh, it's just a flat $7.50 shipping, just like anything you order off of our website. These are not on the website yet. If you want anything, just let us know. You can give us a call or write Send us an email. Send up and show your shirt. Huh? Send up. There you go. Pretty cool. I probably won't be wearing this for the demos, just for coffee and questions, but this is, will be my, my coffee and questions uh, shirt from now on. So that sound you hear is uh, the, the guard dog, Chael, <laughs> be beautiful German Shepherd. Panting so, heavily. Yeah, pan he came in to check things out. So um, anyway, guys, we're really excited Let's about this stuff. Hold them still. Thank you Turn so much, around. Steve McCullough. Awesome stuff. So we got shirts, hats, and cups. And I don't know, we may brand into more stuff, but um, many of you have asked if the shirts are available and, and uh, the hat, I, I love the hat, love the cup. So anyway, guys, that's kind of our big announcement. Um, hope this was helpful, especially to you new people, to know kind of what you're getting into. Again, you know how to get a hold of me. My email, mine and Vicky's email is in the description. If you have any questions, let me know. Those shirts are also the ones that they're going to be getting free with oh, the yeah. seminar. Yeah, the, uh, all of the uh, seminar attendees are getting one of these shirts free. So um, so congratulations, you guys. Man, we're excited about this. So um, it'll be next Wednesday. Uh, Monday we'll be doing coffee and questions. Wednesday, I'm not sure how we're going to do that because we'll be on the road about four hours that day. We might do a live thing real we quick. We might do a live thing. I, I'm not sure yet. I'm, I got to figure that out. But um, so again, I hope this was helpful, especially to you new people. And maybe some of you guys have been watching for a while, wanting to know kind of what it takes. So um, anyway, 
thanks again. We're excited and uh, hope you like our, our new stuff. If you have any questions on it, get a hold of us. Give us a call or write us an email and uh, we'd be happy to, to ship some of this stuff to you if you want to. I don't see any flies around, so I'll, I'll yeah, keep my hands. And that's what I'm worried about. Yeah, <laughs> shut the camera off before I go after another fly. All right, you guys. You guys have a great weekend. Tomorrow morning, uh, Saturday morning, Dad will be doing it. I'll, I'll get him nailed down. Be doing another Country Music Memory Lane video. And then we will see you guys again on Monday morning for Coffee and Questions. Everybody have a great weekend. And uh, make some sawdust. Be happy. See ya. Bye-bye.